Today's lesson is about line graphs. Let's get started. The word graph comes from Greek, meaning writing, as with words like autograph and polygraph. A line graph uses a grid of intersecting perpendicular lines formed by an x-axis and a y-axis, over which you show changes over time, using a line. The most important feature setting a line graph apart from, say, a bar graph is the graphical way it shows the passage of time. What is a grid? The grid that forms the foundation for a line graph has two axes, the x-axis running horizontally and the y-axis running vertically. These two axes need not be in the same scale, meaning their increments need not match. This is because the x-axis represents one category of information related to time, like centuries, years, months, weeks, days, or hours. The y-axis represents a set of numbers we are examining over that span of time. The grid then can be shaped in three ways, precise tiny squares, tall narrow rectangles, or wide short rectangles. This is an important detail because sometimes line graphs deliberately exaggerate one axis to emphasize the information. Here are two line graphs of the same information, but in the second one, we have doubled the height of the vertical increments and have the width of the horizontal increments, making the information look much different. The second graph would make many people very nervous that the prices being tracked are out of control rising and falling dramatically, yet the two graphs show the same information. So what is a line graph? A line graph is a visual representation of a single piece of information tracked over time. You can see line graphs with multiple lines, but each line tracks one idea and is moving through time from earlier time on the left to more current time on the right. A line graph has a title nearly always centered at the top and above the graph. The title explains what the two axes are showing. Gold prices per ounce 1998 to 2018 or 2018 temperatures in Tempe, Arizona. A line graph also has axis labels, with the y-axis label usually printed sideways and running along the y-axis. This will be the quantity like price in dollars or temperature in Celsius. The x-axis label is a unit of time written horizontally under the numbers, ranging from centuries to seconds as you need. In our three examples, the x-axis might be labeled year for the first graph and weeks or months for the second one. Increments for the y-axis are determined by the range of data. If gold prices from 1998 to 2018 varied from a low of $272.75 in 2000 to a high of $1,664 in 2012, we do not need to start at $0 and climb by $10 increments. The graph would be absurdly tall. We could start at $200 and move up by $100 increments ending at $1,700. Increments for the x-axis are determined by the range of time, with common units of years, months, weeks, and days. A key tells what the changing line shows, like price or temperature. Now let's look at an example of a line graph. Data displayed by a line on a line graph is great for spotting trends, noting consistent performance, or tracking progress. You could make your own line graph of mathematics quiz grades over a term. Your x-axis would be days or weeks, and your y-axis would be your grades. Here is a sample line graph from Sally Pep Rally. Sally charted her progress to help her decide if she should enroll in the next higher mathematics class for the next term. She can look at the line graph and get answers for questions that range from simple to complex. See if you can answer them. Did you get these answers?